Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will create a password generator to create a random password. Now before we begin if you like the videos on this channel then be sure to click that subscribe and like button and to be notified about new videos from this channel hit that bell notification. So I'm currently on Google's website it's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code or of course you can do this on some other IDE of your choice. Alright, so to get started writing this code, go ahead and click on File, then click on New Notebook, and then a new tab will open up for you, and then eventually a new cell. So I'm going to put in a description about this program in comments. So I'm just going to type generate a random password using Python. Okay, next I'm going to create a new cell by clicking this code button in the top left. And now in this cell I'm going to import the libraries that I need for this program. So I'm going to import string and then I'm going to import random. Alright, so I just imported string, I imported random. So I need to run this cell, so I'm just going to click this button here to the left to run it and this will also let me know if I made any mistakes. So it looks like I'm good. Let's go ahead and create a new cell. Alright, now in this cell I want to get the information on what I need to generate the password. So I need to get things like the minimum number of characters, the number of capital letters that's needed in the password or necessary in the password, the number of punctuations, the number of digits, and how many characters I want my password to be. Obviously it has to be a minimum amount of characters but maybe I want the password to be five more characters beyond that minimum amount. All right, so let's go ahead and get this information. So I'm going to create a loop for this. So while true, I'm going to get some input. So I want to get the minimum number of characters. OK, and I'm going to set that equal to a variable. So I'm going to create a variable called num underscore min underscore characters. And I'm going to set it equal to that input. And I want the the value to be a integer, so I need to cast this as an int. Okay, and there we go. All right, so next I'm going to get the number of capital letters in the password. So let's create a variable for that. I'm going to create a variable called num cap underscore letters. So num underscore cap underscore letters. And I'm going to set this equal to int input and then we're going to ask the user for the number of capital letters in the password okay and let's see I want the number of punctuations so I'm gonna create a variable called num underscore punctuations and I'm gonna set this equal to int input and then we're going to ask the user for the number of punctuations. Okay, and then I want to get the number of digits. So let's create a variable called num underscore digits and set it equal to int input and then put the number of digits. Okay, and then I want to get the, the length of the password. So I'm going to create a variable called pass underscore len. And I'm going to set it equal to int input. And I'm going to ask the user for how many characters, for how many characters they want in their password. Or I just put how many characters for your password. Okay, and there we go. So I think that's good. And then I'm going to check if the number of minimum characters is greater than or equal to the the number of required characters. All right, so let's see if the number of minimum characters is greater than or equal to the number of the required characters. So that's the number of capital letters, the number of punctuations, and the number of digits. So let's go ahead and add those together to get that number. Number of capital letters plus the number of punctuations 
plus the number of digits. All right. Um, if it's greater than that, then we're okay. Then we don't have to do anything. We can break out of the loop. And actually, I'm going to do another check as well. So I'm going to put and here. So if that's true and the password length is greater than or equal to the number of minimum characters, then we don't need to do anything. Everything's OK. But if it's not, or else if it's not, then we're going to print something like the number of minimum characters does not match the required information. OK, something like that. All right, so then I'll just print a new line as well. All right, so I think that's good. Let's go ahead and run this. OK, let's put in the minimum number of characters. So I will say 5. The number of capital letters, I'll put 1. The number of punctuations, I'll put 2. The number of digits, I'll put, put 2. And then I want my password length to be 8. OK, so that worked. Let's go ahead and run this again and check this, this if statement, this check here. So I'm going to put in 5 again. And I'm going to put in 2 for the number of capital letters, 3 for the number of punctuations, and 1 for the number of digits. And then let's put in 8 here. And here it says the number of minimum characters does not match the required information. OK, so that's our check. And then, of course, we have to put in those characters again. All right. So I'll put in 5, 2, 3, and 0, and then 8. OK, so now we're good to go because everything matches. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. And now let's get the, the number of random capitalized letters that's required. So in this case, it's going to be 2. So I'm going to create a variable called cap. So I'm going to set it equal to an empty list. And then I'm going to create a for loop. So the loop is going to run from 0 to the number of capital letters. All right, and then I'm going to append to this caps list. So I'll type caps.append. I'm going to append a letter, and I'm going to do it randomly. So I'm going to just type random.choice, and then string.ascii underscore letters and I want capital letters right so I'm just going to type dot upper here okay and of course there's other ways we could have did this too I didn't have to use that dot upper but that's good for now and I'm just going to highlight all of this copy use control C then come down here and paste it two more times using control V and then I'm just going to change up a few of the variables so I'm going to change this to punks. So it's going to be a list of punctuations. And I want it to run from 0 to the number of punctuations. So that's num underscore punctuations. And then I'm going to get rid of this dot upper here. And we're going to append to punks. We're going to append string dot punctuation. All right, and then let's change this variable here to digits and change this here to digits as well. And it's going to run from 0 to the number of digits. So that's num underscore digits. I'm going to get rid of that dot upper. And then I'm going to get here digits. All right. So let's go ahead and run this. OK, let's create a new cell. 
and now in this cell we're going to create and show a list of the required characters within the password so I'm going to create a variable called password underscore requirements and I'm going to set this equal to caps plus punct plus digits alright and then let's go ahead and show password underscore requirements so let's run this uh, maybe it's punks with an S oops so let's make this an S and let's run this again and there we go so let's see how many did we want yeah we wanted five a minimum of five characters and we have our number of capital letters and our number of punctuations so we have two capital letters here and then we have our punctuations here okay all right so that's good let's go ahead and create a new cell and now we're going to basically fill in the rest of the password with with random letters so let's go ahead and do that let's create a variable called mm, well actually you know what let's let's use that that variable called pass len from from up here we're going to just reuse pass len and I'm going to set pass len equal to pass len minus the number of minimum characters okay so yeah that'll work let's go ahead and create a variable called password and set it equal to an empty list and then let's create a for loop so for i in range 0 to pass underscore len we're going to append to password so type password dot append random dot choice so we're going to randomly choose a string so that string dot ascii underscore letters alright so let's go ahead and run this uh, let's see what's wrong here so I didn't put a underscore here so let's go ahead and run this again and there we go alright so let's go ahead and take a look at password for now so let's type password let's run this so now we have our three letters and then we have our required letters here or our required characters I mean here so let's let's see let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put them together let's uh, combine these two lists so I'm gonna create a new cell I'm gonna create another for loop so for char and password requirements I'm going to append to password so if I password dot append that character char alright so let's run this and let's create a new cell and let's show the password okay so now we have all of those characters together and then I want to shuffle them so I want them to be a little bit more random right and that's easy enough just by typing random dot shuffle and then input password so let's run this and then let's create a new cell and let's type password so we're going to show the password and there we go so all these characters have been shuffled and we have a password with all of our requirements so that's the end of the video if you would like to support this channel then please consider becoming a support on patreon.com I will leave a link in the description below for that and that's also where you can get this code and code from my previous videos again thanks for watching and I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video